What's your view on the promise of many new technologies today to improve the way people live? Well, the first thing, and I've written quite a bit about it, uh, I think we live in a we live in a world of denial about the limitations of technology and of course also the, the negative implications of technology. So we live in a world of essentially uh, everyone drinks the Kool-Aid and most of the Kool-Aid is supplied by the tech companies. Um, any counter narrative is de deemed subversive. So, you know, for the record, I'm an engineer, so I'm a, I'm a tech technical person. I am not against technology. So I refuse to accept simp oversimplified uh, classifications that say if you question technology, you must be a Luddite or all of this. This is not my history. The Luddite, uh, the Luddite uh, phenomena is a Western thing. During a time when the West was actually dominating, particularly in the UK, the rest of the world. So, you know, I think we should not be prisoners to those narratives. Um, but the important thing to understand is what, what, what is the role of technology? So over the last 15 years in particular, technology has now been distilled to digital. How to essentially digitize everything and so supposedly transform the world. But technology is a much broader spectrum of uh, the ability of humans to create uh, means by which uh, technology can be beneficial, but also create negative impacts. You know, uh, the nu nuclear technology is essentially highly destructive by nature. Then we have to decide how we use it in a positive way, and how we constrain the products of nuclear technology like a bomb by other means. But my more, my more, uh, you know, int what I'm more interested in is how this fallacy of technology as digitization has essentially made us all prisoners to tech companies.